Hello and welcome Libra. This is your July 2023 general reading with myself Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tower readings. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now what we will do here Libra, we will divide the reading into sections so it's a bit easier to follow it all. So what we, what we will do is we will look at the overall energy for the month of July 2023 for the sign of Libra before we then go into your emotional core. Emotional core is about whether or not there's love coming in, whether there's some trauma that is ready to be released, that sort of stuff. Before we then finally look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of July 2023. Libra, are you ready? Here we go. Here we go. So what is interesting here, <clears throat> just before we start, is that while we're sort of in um, in Leo's energy, right, in July is where a lot of Leos have um, their um, birthdays, we're still in July. July is the seventh month, Libra is the seventh sign, therefore the number seven, which is the highest number of protection and healing, is quite strong and because your sign corresponds super well to the energy of seven <clears throat> being in the seventh month means that you can that you get a little bit of an extra boost <coughs> um, this month just because of the association with the number seven so yay that's awesome anyway let's have a look what we got for you well <laughs> looks like sounds a bit horrible but looks like you need <clears throat> a bit of extra protection and healing because you have the snake and the dolphin. So the snake is the animal of protection and healing, just like the number seven is. So when you go to a pharmacy, you see a snake around the cave, right? So it is the symbol of health. Therefore, when the snake comes in first as the first energy guide or um, animal guide, whatever you want to call them, um, the, the guides are, ask you, uh, are asking you to... Um, Pay a bit of attention to your energy. <clears throat> so by default, the depiction is a snake. If a snake is somewhere, let's just say in the middle of a street or something, all it needs is space because a lot of snakes need rocks to propel themselves. So a lot of people that have dealt with snakes before always say the same thing, you know. There is this snake on the floor and on the ground and people are trying to hit it. The snake outsmarts them all. But the point is, if you leave the snake alone, it'll just move on. Therefore, energetically speaking, what I'm getting for you, uh, Libra, is tell people that you need a bit of space this month, right? Because the next animal uh, following on from the snake here for your overall energy for the month of July is the dolphin. And the dolphin is about two things. It's about feminine energy. It's about um, calmness, softness. Um, so that's what you need this month, is to be in your softer self, if that makes sense. And because the word dolphin comes from a Greek word um, that describes the womb, this is also about understanding that in July, again, you have that extra boost with the number seven this month, you can expect a lot of things that are ancestral to come up around you, right? So remember when you're being born, the universe takes a snapshot, becomes your birth chart, but the belief is that you decide to whom you're being born, where and when. And then when you come here, you're responsible for the, well, the pain and the trauma of your ancestry, especially the female one, uh, uh, if that makes sense. Um, and so the point is that you're the you're the you're on top. You're the beginning of that ancestry. So anything that hasn't been dealt with in your family history, if that makes sense, will come to you to sort it out. <laughs> so it doesn't mean it all happens at once. <clears throat> Energy here is because of the dolphin. There's a couple of things. The dolphin has very few muscles in the face. Therefore, it appears to be happy even when it is not. So stop acting. Right? If you're not happy with people say something you are libra you are the scale you want harmony but you will notice that there is no harmony unless there's a counter uh, weight so so therefore you partly um, depend <clears throat> on other people's energy 
if that makes sense. But they just have to play ball this month. You should call the shots. You should allow uh, yourself to, to uh, express how you're really feeling and tell people off a little bit. Right? It's quite important. So that is your overall energy for the month uh, ahead. And you can tell, um, if, you, if you're new to this at least, um, obviously with the German accent I make everything sound much harsher than, than the guides mean it. But the point is, um, if you have watched this before, even if you haven't, my guides just were quite direct here. And so what they're saying is they're, 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 they're not asking you, they're telling you if you want to be well this month, look at your surroundings, who is bothering you, what is bothering you, and tell them to back off. Okay, so now let's have a look at your emotional core, see what we got for you, Libra. Here we go. <coughs> you have the peacock and the rabbit. So, the peacock obviously has this beautiful wheel. But the reason why the wheel is there is because once the wheel is out, right? So once he shows his his um, beautiful side, and people go like, "Oh my God, look how beautiful he is!" Right? What he's trying to do, what the peacock is trying to do, is to show that there are a thousand eyes. On the wheel, he's trying to not only confuse predators but to keep them at bay. And yet, a lot of people just see the beauty and want to be close to the peacock. And that is, when it comes to your emotional core, one of the issues that you have, um, because you have the peacock, which is about understanding. Unless you are honest with yourself, and unless you are not pleasing anyone, especially in intimate relationships, the harder things will get for you. So again, very much like in the overall energy, you are asked this month to drop the charades, drop the being super kind and super nice just for the sake of it, which is actually a Libra trait. So sometimes you stay in situations longer than you should just because you want harmony. Um, so you paint neither pictures, if that makes sense, until you finally wake up. All the guides are saying to you is this month, wake up, stop the charades, don't pretend, oh, well, you know, um, it didn't hurt me when someone said certain things, right? So, so what I'm getting is, <clears throat> it, it's not so much about whether or not you should heal from something or whether or not this is about relationships. Not quite clear here with regards to the energy. Come on, Moll. Well, my cat is just here. <laughs> the energy here flows in a peculiar way. You are asked not to put on false pretenses where you allow people to be shitheads, literally. Um, and where you, where you call people on their crap, really, really important. Ultimately, you need to make sure that people treat you with the utmost respect because you deserve it. Really, really important. And then um, you have the rabbit. So the rabbit is saying to you, I do, I make all these holes, all these burrows, and they all go somewhere. Which means, if you haven't found happiness yet, should you be in a relationship, then maybe there are other Burrows, there's other relationships that you could be exploring instead. Come on, then, Moll. Come on. Come on up. Come on. Come on, sweetie. Hmm? So it's just. <laughs> Are you coming up or not? Hmm? Come on, sweetie. Come on. Ah. Sorry about that, it's just my cat is, is down here and she scratches my knee. No, I'm just trying to encourage her to come up. Oh, here she is. You can probably only see her tail. In any case, so um, should you not be in a relationship, then in a way, the same applies. You are asked to understand if you see the same type of relationship forming. Maybe it's time you, um, you looked at why things aren't working, what isn't working. And, um, and make changes with regards to manifesting, right? If that makes sense. So again, it's a bit of a, of a serious tone that the guides have for Libra. Are you right, sweetie? And now let's have a look at your opportunities for the month of July, 2023 for the sign of Libra. Well, that's not so bad while uh, by default, the energy of July here, this month at least, obviously, um, flows into 
let's not do so much. So, energetically speaking, uh, we call it uh, quite a number of star signs before this, one's, uh, this one. Um, so there's not that many opportunities coming. But in your case, you have the Osprey and the Deer. What the guides are saying is understand that should you work in a situation or in, or in a place where you feel you, you're still being treated as some sort of, a, of an apprentice, you're not. You have made a lot of progress and you don't have to continue doing what you do just because you know how to do it. So if you want to have changes, you know, don't sell yourself short. Believe that you can learn anything and do anything. Because you have the white tail deer. So the idea is the deer is they only function best at sunrise and sunset. So anyone who chases you to do anything um, with regard to what sustains you during the day is a hindrance, if that makes sense. So what you would do well with when it comes to what sustains you, so work and, and, and the likes, is to be either self-employed or be in charge or at least be in charge of the section that you work in. That doesn't mean that you're not taking orders well. Libra takes orders quite well and sometimes Libra takes orders it shouldn't take. So this is all about reflecting where am I going from here? What is the offer that comes my way actually worth? Right? So that was your um, July 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. And I get, again, it's a general reading, so it might not resonate uh, for all of you. Um, again, please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. And I see you all next month. Bye bye.